Hey, what's up, Flash Anime? Bringing you Happiness Charge Precure Episode 4. Sorry for del the delay, I've just I've been kind of busy this week with other projects and other things. But the sum of this episode in like one quick sentence is basically Hime going to school for the first time and I guess her being just super nervous about making friends. And she's assuming she's gonna make 100 friends easily. And be only because she only knows uh, Blue, Sage. Seiji and Megami, she only knows these three people. So she's kind of, you know, thinking, oh, it's going to be easy to make friends. Until she gets there and just realizes that this isn't going to be so easy as everyone says it is. But I thought it was kind of funny, you know, she, she's going in there thinking she's going to make 100 friends in one one day or maybe one s semester. And I was thinking, you know, even when I was in high school, that was impossible to meet everybody in school. I mean, my graduating class was at least over 300 plus. And I probably only knew, only knew about maybe 50 of them, you know, by name, but not personally. I mean, personally, I probably maybe had 15, 20 friends that went to school with me, and yeah, most of them were like, you know, ninth grade, tenth graders, and very few seniors. I mean, I knew like maybe 20 seniors. So yeah, so to, to have Hime think she's gonna make you know, 100 friends is a little, little, little stretch, but. Yeah, I guess, depending on your school size, maybe that is possible, but... But anyway, she gets there and she's just super nervous again, like she doesn't... You know how they do the whole anime thing, like, a transfer student comes in, they say their name and write a name on the board. She can't even do that, and she f freaks out and runs away, and the teacher grabs her and pulls her back in, or carries her back in. And she says, you know, try it again, take your time, and Hime uses the whole entire board to write her name, and <laughs> that was funny. Just an interesting thing, and everyone after that, everyone just kind of jumps at her, and, like kind of swarms her, and they start asking questions, like typical anime thing. Like, I've seen this a bunch of times in other series, but they start asking her questions and questions, and she just gets overwhelmed and gets panic attack and runs away. And the rest of the episode is basically Hime just running from Megami the entire time, hiding from everybody because she's too scared to come out and meet everybody. And we see uh, Yuko, the blonde girl from episode 2, who gave her candy. And they come into the nurse's office and they try to, I guess, convince her to leave the, the cover. She's hiding under the blanket. And she does, but she snatches the candy and runs away. And Yuko's kind of like, not mad or angry about it. She's just kind of like curious, like, what, what's wrong with her? Like, why is she so scared of everybody? And eventually, Hime hides in this uh, sports equipment. And she's in a locker, she's kind of hiding, she's kind of scared. Wants to be left alone, she doesn't want anyone to bother her. And in doing so, she's kind of hiding, and there's a teacher in there also. He's hiding from the students because he's feeling the same as her. He doesn't know how to talk to students, and he's kind of scared. So he hides, which is kind of comical, but not really. I mean, they're trying to just, I guess, convey a message that even if you have a handful of friends, yeah, that's fine, and it's not easy to make friends. I mean, it does take a long time to get to know someone and, you know, build a common ground and things they like, you like. And even the origami this week had the same, almost full to it, where they had a uh, Yato saying to the main kid, I forget his name, the blonde little boy. But it was, you know, and they had a little episode, and the, the message in that episode is kind of the same. It's impossible to have friends, to be friends with everybody in the school. And you have to even tell the guys, you know, helping in the episode kind of sort of that even if you have one friend or two friends, that's good enough. And that's the way I feel with this Precure episode, that even if he may only make his friends with the main cast, that's fine. I mean, I don't see her making friends with everybody, but she probably will eventually. But we get to the monster attack, and the monster is basically a, a combination of gym equipment. And for a while, he may fight by herself solo, and she is able to hold her own. And then Megami kind of arrives, and almost gives her a little boost, like confidence that she can do it. You know, it's she's not, you know, she's not as weak as everyone says she is. And uh, Megami, not Megami, but he may transforms into her, her second outfit, the uh, Sherbert Ballerai, ballerina thing, and does her like attack. And I guess it makes every the monsters in the area kind of like dance, but it's kind of funny. And she. Eventually is when it purifies the monster with a uh, cure of fortune kind of on the roof of the school watching from afar that uh, Hime is actually doing something and it was kind of interesting. 
Another thing to point out was uh, Megami and Seiji kind of had this conversation where he was just telling her that maybe you're being a bit too pushy on Hime to make friends. So it's just, and yeah, I think that's very much true. And at the end of the episode, we have uh, Hime finally talks to Yuko and they kind of head off a little bit, even though I think this is going to be a relationship they got to build up for a while with, with the blonde, who eventually will become the next break here, but it's how she becomes it that I'm interested in. And yeah, pretty much that was the episode. I mean, nothing amazing stood out, but the combat with Megami was kind of funny. She was using the, uh, I guess, foot soldiers as like weapons, and that was kind of cool. I'm like, wow, I've never seen that happen, but yeah. But next week is going to be all about, I guess, helping friends, so Hime and Megami would probably be helping out Yuko on maybe with her job or whatever she does. Because they do are they are wearing a lot of different outfits in this next episode, so they're definitely using the cards a lot more. And uh, I think at the end of this episode also, uh, he making me got her second outfit, the uh, hip hop outfit that she wears in the opening. So hopefully we'll see how that's used. And until next time, see you guys next episode five me five.